What is going on guys, I'm Watch Jergo, and today we're back with the BO and it's finally going to drive. Here's the new gasket set. We've got two gaskets here. I'm not actually sure what that one's for, but I do know this one is for the uh, transmission cover there with the shifter and the high-low selector. And uh, today, we're gonna drain the diesel out. It's been sitting in here for two or three days now, about the perfect amount of time to soak up all that old junk. And uh, we're gonna pull the plugs, get the diesel out, put the new fluid in after I clean everything up. It's finally time to drive it. Oh, that one with uh, the multi, that's not the right wrench, is it? All right, I can get there. I bought that at an auction the other day. Yeah? Look at it, it's gonna make a mess. It's definitely gonna just explode it's out of there. Over you. Yeah, all right, I can feel it. <laughs> well, I went to pull it out and we got a slug. There should have been diesel fuel pulled out of there. It may not have had enough because it has that hump. Oh, there it goes. What a mess. Yeah, see, that's the good. It sure loosened up all that sludge. It is dumping chunks out. So we've got the gear selector housing here in the solvent tank. I'm gonna go ahead and get the old gasket off here, which is definitely shot. Get the rest of the gasket material off here. Man, these, it is nasty inside here. It's hard to uh, describe what this stuff is, what it feels like, but just everything is this gummed up oil. It's like uh, uh, more sticky tack consistency there than uh, oil consistency, that's for sure. But hey, it breaks right down in the solvent. I'm gonna scrub the thing out, get all of this off of it until it's nice and clean, then we can reassemble the thing with a new gasket. There we go, I can finally feel the uh, bare metal underneath all this gunk. It'll all clean up. This is just gonna take a little bit of time of uh, just scrubbing in the solvent tank here and putting in work. Oh man, there must be a solid 16th to maybe even an eighth of an inch of gunk all the way along the whole cover. I'll get the mating surfaces cleaned up and uh, we'll be good to go. Okay, we are back from the solvent tank and the gear selector housing and the high-low selector look better than ever. No more sludge, it was all built up inside here. It was so thick and gooey. It took a long time at the solvent tank just to get this whole thing clean. But now, we're gonna finish cleaning up a, a little bit of this, get all the diesel out of it. I mean, we did drain most of it already. I have to pull the back plug, and I also have to empty out everything that's out so far because it dumped a full pan already. Then I'll clean up the gasket mating surface on the tractor, and we'll be good to go. I took a quick break to go grab some food because I was starving, and now we're gonna take a quick break from uh, getting the rear end done to replace this old gasket for the uh, coolant on top of the radiator there. So this looks really fancy. It's from uh, Cordova Country Parts, Antique Tractor Parts in Cordova, Illinois. And we have this nice rubber gasket here, which is gonna be awesome. And we have this nice little metal piece. It looks like it retains that gasket, so that is sweet. Let's change this out. Little bit of rust build up on here. Ooh, this old gasket just comes right off. Nice, nice. Slip the new one into place here. Actually, I might brush a little bit of that up as well, just to make sure it's nice and clean, but wow, that looks great. No leakage out of there. A lot of rust coming off of this, that's for sure. Executive decision time here. We're just gonna go ahead and put the rubber uh, gasket on here and put it back on for the time being. And uh, we'll come back to putting this plate on once we can get this off. But uh, it has a retainer on it, so when you try to spin it off, of course it doesn't spin off. I think you're supposed to take the cap side off instead, but of course that's painted. We need to get all the paint out of there and that's just gonna have to wait for a little bit. So, <laughs> now that I tightened it down, can't get it off. All right, here we go. It's about halfway down, ready to go on, and uh, the plate will go on soon. It looks like you have to pick up a set of nuts and bolts anyway to mount this because it has uh, some through holes on the top. That's these holes right in there. If you can see that, there's uh, four holes right there, and I think that actually needs to mount to this just to make sure it holds the gasket nice and tight. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back on the tractor. Tightening the cap down with this rubber seal feels great. 
Uh, you know, it had a little give to it this time and, and it's on there. No more uh, rocking back and forth and you know, it seals very well. So the first pan of diesel's out and uh, what I'm gonna do is put the plug back in and strain that through my fingers to uh, keep the sludge out. But I wanna put the diesel back in the crankcase, quite a bit of it actually. And then I'm gonna take this paint stirring stick, which lets me get nice and uh, deep down in there because it's almost two feet deep down to the bottom of the rear end there. So uh, I'm gonna use that to stir up a little bit of the sludge that's left and uh, get it all cleaned out. We think the oil that's down in there was 40 or 50 years old and you could tell from how the uh, gear selector case looked that it was nasty and covered in sludge and it looks so good now, it's dry. I got every bit of gunk out of that thing. And I'm excited to put the new gasket on and uh, rock this thing here in a few minutes. You can tell it's about one inch thick of nasty sludge down in there. So uh, I'm gonna put more diesel in there and then mix it up like this and I think I can get a whole bunch of it out through the drain plug. Or actually, I mean, I can get all of it out through the drain plug with enough time. I poured it from one pan into another pan so I could get all the sludge out of it. Most of the sludge settled to the bottom of the other pan. It is nasty. And this one is pretty clean. It's working pretty well. I can feel the entire sections of the sludge getting cleaned up. Oh yeah, that stuff's gross. You can actually still feel a little of it inside the case there. See how much of it I can get into the solution. Feels nice and clean inside the drain plug area now. Uh, I think it's cleaned as well as it's going to be with uh, out a solvent sprayer or getting some kind of parts washer inside there. We're gonna get it all out and then it's time to fill this up with some gear oil. I thought I was gonna be able to unscrew this by hand, but it is fighting me every step of the way. Even though it looks like I probably could now. Ooh wee, ah, don't splash in my eyes. Everything's drained out. I'm just gonna finish cleaning up a little bit of this gasket material without trying to scrape off any of the paint. That is one diesel filled rag right there. We've got the rest of this gasket that runs around basically everything. There's a big chunk of gasket right there. Almost got it all off. Sorry if you can't see anything, I got this headlight on so I can really see if this is clean or not. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, filling this thing with gear oil. And I pulled the plug out of the rear. Ooh yeah, that is some goop. Because I pulled the uh, rear fill port off and we're gonna fill it until it just starts to seep out of that. Throw the plug in real fast once it hits that mark and uh, we'll be good to go. Ready to drive this thing. And here goes the second bottle. Time to uh, figure out how to make my pour work. I think that should work. There we go. Didn't spill a drop. Oh, look at that. We've got four gallons in it so far and it is right at the fill cap back here. I mean, it's actually a little bit up into the threads and all. So we're good to go. Uh, if you want to take a look at that. There we go. Tighten down this cap. Put the gasket on. Finishing touches. We have this nice new gasket for our gear selector cover. And if I could just get the plastic off of it, we would be in business. I got the plastic off. It's just stuck to my finger now. Victory. Okay, so that sits on there just like that. Getting this lined up is going to be the fun part. So I'd say, what are we in there? I think we're in the low range. And we're also in, what is that? Looks like neutral. I think I got that in the right spot. What about this? And all that's left is tightening up these bolts. It's time to take it for a drive. Okay, it's still on jack stands. I'm just gonna keep saying that it's done, but we still have to get it off the jack stands, which means I'm gonna go grab the forklift and make life easy. 
So let's see if we can shift gears now. First gear, second gear, high, low. Awesome. That is good news. We're gonna go ahead and put this thing in. I guess we'll just put it in second. Low and second. Get all these rags out of here. Wipe up some of this diesel that is just absolutely everywhere. It's really time to clean up this tractor. She's alive! This tire was a little bit low. So we go ahead and put a little bit of uh, air in it. And we should be good to drive it as soon as I get it off of the jack stands here. Out of gas. Guess we're gonna put some gas in it too. And all that's left now is setting the tractor down. Which we are jack stands are off. We are ready to back out. All the way down on the floor. There it goes. Perfecto. Well, the BO is done, and as you saw, I had it running a minute ago, and then it died, and it doesn't want to start again. It's only, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's a half choke, and the throttle's a half, and it should start right up. Shouldn't see any problems now, and I got the tire aired up. Everything is done. It's ready to drive, and it will not restart. And Amborghini came over <laughs> just to get a ride on the big green tractor. So, next time, unfortunately. I guess I tricked you. I thought this was the episode where we drove the tractor. <laughs> and that is it for today, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will talk to you next time. Quitting because it's 105.